Ash is. Which is also top spar. I could use a stim if you are able to get to me. Switch still is top spar. One yeah, out of four remain. And banana dust. What's going on, everybody? Shark with DG. And for a lot of you, it's going to be the first time seeing my face, so this is my face, hello. Um, today we're going to be going over my settings. A lot of people want to know what my in-game settings are, my DPI, sensitivity, graphic settings, all that. Uh, so in this video, we're going to be going over that. The rest of this video will probably be gameplay clips, so if you guys want to see that, I'll probably have something on screen telling you where to go in the video so that you can go to the gameplay. Um, for those of you that want to know the settings, we'll get into that. So start off, a lot of people are going to want to know what rank I am. So currently, I'm Diamond. I'm, I was champion this season, but Max was 50-83. Uh, um, these are my previous ranks. Um, so yeah. Um, before we do start though, I'd appreciate it if you guys would sub to me on YouTube. I'm actually pretty close to 40k at the recording of this video. Also, uh, follow my Twitch. The links will be in the description as well. Um, now onto the video though. So we'll start with my DPI, which I can't pull up right now. Um, but it's 400 DPI, and I play with a Logitech G Pro Wireless. Um, my headset is the Cloud Flights, the HyperX Cloud Flights, the wireless headset. Don't know why my server is Australia. All right, so we'll start on the general settings. So to start off, um, my interface settings, um, I think they should be changed a little bit because I was trying to get a thumbnail. So these are on. Um, so a lot of people ask, you know, why do you have scoring off? Why do you have um, team and outlines off? Why do you have the first notifications off? So when you kill somebody, it says 5v4, um, stuff like that. I have a lot of these off because I used to play competitive siege for a team. So my last team uh, was actually one with Braxton, but before that it was um, Xeno or Oblivion the, with the OB guys. Um, but I've since quit comp, but I've kind of kept the same habit, so I've got scoring off and all that. Pengu made a great video, which I'll probably have linked in the description, that kind of goes more in depth on why you should have scoring off and uh, things such as that. Um, but personally, that's the reason I play with them off. Uh, besides that, pings on, of course. Um, I don't like this on. Uh, it just kind of gets in the way. I don't need it. The drone out there prep thing I have on automatic. Uh, piece of chat on. For my audio, um, I have subtitles on. So sometimes, you know, someone's reinforcing on the other team. It'll say like uh, reinforcing the wall or something as subtitles uh, when the other when the other when the operator on the other team like calls out what they're doing. Um, so that can kind of help you with that. Um, my master volume I have on 70 in game and then 70 Windows volume. Music I have off, I don't know, it just kind of gets in the way. Uh, 60 dialogue volume, volume. Uh, dy dynamic range I have on night mode. Um, I've tried the other ones, but I don't know. I kind of just like night mode better. I've been on it for like the longest time now, so it's what stuck for me. So you guys have tried it out, but personally I like night mode. Voice chat volume 80, uh, mute and unfocused on. So like basically if I'm in windowed mode as I am now, where I can drag the screen around. Um, and I tab out to my other monitor, the game will be muted. That's all that is. Uh, push to talk, of course, for my end game. Um, and then these settings here. So as for the display settings, so currently we're going to be on windowed. Um, because I'm alt enter, so I could go between my, my uh, two monitors. Usually I'd play full screen. And I have a 240Hz monitor. It's the Acer Predator one, whichever the one Shroud uses. Um, so it also happens to be the one they use at LANs. So the ones they use for um, the Pro League LANs, such as the Imitational and stuff like that. Um, my aspect ratio, I play 4-3. A lot of people think it's 5-3, but it's 4-3. I don't know why, but 4-3. Uh, V-Sync off. Don't like V-Sync. Uh, widescreen letterbox off. My FOV is 84, and my brightness here is on 70. Um, I don't know. I've been on these settings for years now. Kind of just comfortable for me. Um, this is the monitor, by the way. Uh, as for the graphic settings, um, these are all on very high, because as I said, I was getting a thumbnail before this video, but I'll change them for you really quickly. So I have... Uh, all of this, here, I'll just ch I'll just change it to this really quick, and I'll show you guys. So, these are usually my settings. So, we have their custom overall settings. We have the texture quality on very high. We've got texture filtering on linear, LED quality on medium, uh, shading low, shadows medium, and I'll quickly I'll quickly say why for shadows on medium. So, if you turn the shadows on low, 
um, what it's going to do is it's going to disable dynamic shadows. So you're not going to have, say someone's moving, an operator's moving, you're not going to see their shadow move. Um, it's just it's going to be gone. So medium, you, you really want to have your shadows on medium so that you can have dynamic shadows. Um, and then a reflection quality low, all of this kind of off, it just kind of gets in the way. Um, the render scaling and, and all that, meh, I don't really care for it, so it's off. Um, a big thing people always want to know is raw input, do I have it on, do I have it off? Um, I personally have it off. The reason being mainly is because when I had first, well, when they had first released it, um, it was it was a really buggy. It would like make your cursor freeze up and it was just, it wasn't implemented that well. They've since fixed all that as far as I understand. Um, so I know a lot of people have turned it on. Personally, I've just kept it off since then. I don't know. I could probably try experimenting with it and see if I like it again, but I've had it off. Uh, mouse look conversion disabled. My sense is 14, 14, 55 on 400 DPI, right? Um, mouse scroll wheel disabled. So that's basically um, when you, you know, go up and down in the scroll wheel to switch weapons and stuff. That's disabled. Um, I find often I'll accidentally switch weapons when that's on. So I'll have that off. Um, gadget deployment uh, on advanced. Uh, drone deployment advanced, of course. My aim, I actually play toggle aim. So um, basically... Instead of holding right click, instead of holding right click to ADS, I click it once and it stays ADS, even if I let go of my mouse. And then if I click it again, I un ADS. So a lot of people are confused to exactly what that does. Um, personally, I like it. Um, on paper, it, it's said to have helped with like um, carpal tunnel. So instead of like constantly um, holding down your right click to ADS, you click it once and you can just hold that angle without stressing your wrist. Um, I don't know how true that is, but for me personally, it's just more comfortable when I'm holding angles and just playing in general. So that's why I have that on. Uh, my leans are on toggle. So I hit Q, it stays lean to the left. I hit E, it stays lean to the right. Uh, and my lean keys are also Q and E, default. My sprint is on hold. I don't really care for toggle. I don't know why. Crouch on toggle, prone on toggle, uh, walk on toggle. And then we'll get into my controls here. So the scoreboard, tab. Uh, my pings, my pings are actually G, but my settings recently got reset on this account. So G to put down the yellow ping. Um, I don't even know what this is. Oh, actually, I do know what that is. Seven for that. Um, open chat. So all chats on O for open. And then my team chat is on P. I used to have my team chat on T for T for team. But I don't know. It Every time I go to reload, I'd actually hit T and I'd be typing in the chat. So I, I'd turn that to P. My uh, push talk in game is on X. And then I have like default movement keys. So WASD, um, QE to shift and, you know, fast ascent and fast repel all that that's a uh, shift, um, space bar to navigate on the drone or whatever, um, control for my crouch. I actually play crouch on control, um, C for prone, um, back when drop shotting was a thing, I was sort of a rat and I would drop shot constantly. So I'd have my prone on C. It was just easier for me to hit. Um, my wall, my, my wall, my walk is on alt. Um, so my, my slow walk, um, and that's on toggle shoot and ADS is uh, default. Same three loading, the interact keys default. So my, my melee attacks actually on the, uh, back button here on my mouse. So I have two buttons on the side of my mouse. It's on the back button. Um, my primary gadget is on four instead of my mouse. Cause I have a G pro, which unfortunately double clicks. Um, my secondary gadget is on the front button of my, the two buttons on the side of my mouse here. Um, so drone and cameras five, deploy drone six. Um, and I, I actually switch weapons with one and two, um, cause I have my scroll load disabled, right? Uh, switch fire modes B. Um, and then for the rest of this, it's all like kind of the observer tools and I don't really do any of that. So that's all default or whatever. Um, but yeah, that's my settings for the most part. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Don't think there's anything else to go over. Um, again, if you guys would like to s follow me on Twitch, I'd appreciate it. Um, subscribe to me on YouTube if you enjoy the video. Thank you, thank you. I'll probably put the rest of the video gameplay or something. We'll see. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. I appreciate it.